My name's Quentin, this is TradeLog, and today we're gonna learn how to use the baseline wizard. After creating an account, the baseline position wizard will automatically open up. As mentioned in our previous video, this is a very important step that all first time TradeLog users must do if they have positions still open from the previous year carrying over into the tax year they are now working on. So let's get started. At the bottom, you can choose between using the wizard or entering your baseline positions in manually. We talk about manual entry in another video, but in this video, we will choose begin baseline wizard. Right away, it asks us to retrieve our December statement and to find the section that reports holdings as of December 31st. It also tells us to check our trades pending settlement as well, which is located later in our December statement. We will pull up that statement right now. Your statement will look something similar to this. Let's now go back to TradeLog. Since our statement does list holdings as of December 31st, we will click go to step two. Now it's time to input the information we are getting from our December statement. First, let's input these stock purchases we have. As you see in this file, there are only two. The first trade was a long, so we will keep it as long. It's a stock, so we will keep it as stock. The ticker is ABCD, and we have 10 still open. Click add to list when you are done. Next, we have another long trade that is also a stock, but the ticker for this one is WXYZ and we still have 20 open. Now we will add the options we have. We only have one and it's a short option with the ticker AAZZ. We have 19 contracts and it most likely will always be 100 for the contract multiplier and as we see here, the contract is for 100 shares. The expiration is January 15th, 2021. The strike price is $3 and it's a put. This one's done and we will add to list. We also no longer need our December statement. That is all the records we have in holding. So we will click next to go on to step three accounting for trades pending settlement. We are now in step three, and here we will use either Broker Connect or a download file of our account history to automatically find any positions still open that were not in holdings, but were in our trades pending. For instructions on how to use Broker Connect or download a file from your specific broker, you can go to the support center on our website, tradelogsoftware.com. Either way, we will need to click the import button near the top right. After clicking the import button, we see that TradeLog found the additional record in our pending trade settlement, which was 28 more ABCD records, and added it to the list, making our ABCD total equal to 38. Now it's time for the wizard to find the rest of the information that these baselines need. You probably noticed a find button over on the right. Click that button and TradeLog will look through your imported trading history. Find the rest of the information for these trades such as original purchase price and date, and fill in the rest of the information for you. Let's click find now. And look at that, it's all our information. Now TradeLog didn't find one of my records, so I manually entered that information in the boxes, but I could have also clicked continue importing to search through a larger date range of trades. With all this complete, we will click on finish and the baseline wizard is done. All your baseline positions are in and you can now import the rest of your trade history. You now know how to use the baseline wizard.